Morning to anyone in England and good afternoon slash evening to anyone that is in Australia. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully we're not going to have any technical issues today. Uh, today is going to be a good one. I think it was Discord that was causing problems. So I am not using Discord because, yeah, it basically screwed over the stream, I think. So fingers crossed. We will be all good today. I have got down, no, down in the bottom corner there, really small, um, what I'm seeing. Hopefully it's small enough to get not get content. Yeah, hopefully it won't get copyrighted or anything. But thank you so much for joining. We are just over 10 minutes away from kickoff. I'm currently watching, don't know what it is, something about the Premier League, Fantasy League. But welcome. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, Roblox. Unlucky, mate. You're timed out. Timed out. Uh, who have we got in so far? Uh, hi, Mandy. Hi, Tiger Prawn. Roman. Uh, hi, Cal. Hi, Jeff. Hello, mate. Uh, I literally... Hi, Stinky Pinky. Thanks for becoming a channel member. Uh, I watched... I watched um, the last quarter while I was out and about feeding cats. Um, yeah, it's sunny today. I don't know how long it'll last for, though. Because it's been awful recently. Um, who else have we got? AFL Legend. Yeah, it was a good game. I did predict... I did do a close game. And I did do a tight win for Essendon. So that was pretty good. Um, I lost the first game. Let me see if it's updated yet. I'm three out of four at the moment. That helps. That helps. I was only I was only thirty three percent of people that picked Essendon to win, and I was close, so that's good, very good. Hi, Sidey, falling to hell. Hello, Scuffy Cockatoo. Nice or at the waffle game. Thank you very much, Sidey. That's very good of you, mate. How is everyone? Yeah, I know. I should just say falling. How is everyone? Hope everyone is doing well. How is everyone? Yeah, let me know. Is everyone having a nice Easter weekend? That's the question. I'm a, Hi, I'm branded. Uh, I'm a little... Yeah, I'm knackered as well. I am exhausted. We've had bowls finals all week and I've been at the bowls club all week till very late. And then doing photos afterwards and be wiring up the shed. Busy boy. Oh, I would like to say I have broken the Fremantle curse. Uh, Fremantle can win when I pick them. So that's a good positive sign. Uh, hi, Aophony. Hello, mate. I'm good. Oh, stinky pinkies. Only two out of four. I assume you got the Essendon game wrong, Stinky Pinky. Oh, I've not, I haven't had any. I haven't really had any chocolate. I have had like one Easter egg. So um, I, you know, I've got to keep my. I've got to keep my trim figure. I do have a vid unboxing video to film tonight, ready for tomorrow though. So yeah, that's when I eat a lot of food now. <laughs> They're banging on about, um, they are banging on about Fantasy Premier League, which we have. I don't think I'm doing very well in it. How are they making this part of TV? Come on, hope and get the, the port game on. It is coming on.
I am literally waiting for them to hurry up and put it on because I'm watching on BT Sport or now called TNT Sport. Oh, hopefully I'm going to push up past everyone. Yeah, please do hit that like button if you are in here. That would uh, do me a massive favour, possibly. I don't know if it makes any difference. Um, oh, crows are awful at the moment, aren't they? They are really, really bad. Uh, free ball surprising team this season, but yesterday's game was pretty bad quality. Yeah, I agree. I went against Norm and didn't back the crows. Well done. If you got out right, if you didn't, if you didn't back the crows, that's a good thing because crows have been rubbish. Uh, am I planning a trip down under this year? No, no. It, uh, last year cost so much. Um, I feel very poor since coming last year. Arlo, I am Sydney Swans. How long have we got? Six, six over, just over six minutes left. Come on, let's get this game on. Oh. Uh, I think price has possibly gone down slightly, but it's getting time off. Charlie wouldn't be able to get the same amount of time off. Um, and I just, yeah, so it's just so expensive. It's crazy. If Sydney get into the grand final, if Sydney get into the grand final and I get a last minute ticket, you know, maybe a last minute flight, who knows? Who's your least favourite? Uh, well, least favourites, Collingwood, obviously. Disgusting team they are. Oh, come on. I want, I want some footy. I'm really not sure about tomorrow, because tomorrow... Tomorrow, the clocks go back. Or forwards. The clocks go forward for summertime. And that means we lose an hour. And the Sydney game is at 6am. So that means, basically, I will have to get up at, like, stupid. Stupid o'clock. So I, I, do I get up tomorrow to watch Sydney versus um, Tigers? I'm not sure. If I don't get up, then the stream isn't going ahead. But it's very, very early. Um... I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to be exhausted. Uh, can I said, can I really get up? The, the, that's the thing. The So if I'm getting up for a six o'clock start, I'd be having to get up like half an hour before, which would be half five. But actually in... Current well in in current time that would mean me getting up at half four in the morning, half four in the morning. Look, I'm not a morning person as it is. You can see the bags under my eyes. Oh, life is hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Yeah, I'm really not sure if I'm going to be able to get up or not. Unless I just sleep for the rest of the day after this. What time do I... Well, I don't normally get up that early because I'm a dog walker. I am a dog walker, so I don't normally get up till about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not a morning person. Uh, this morning I got up at quarter past seven. So that's early. All, f all to watch AFL. <sighs> Okay, Adelaide versus Melbourne is on next, but it literally starts at six thirty uh, at eight thirty on the dot. Okay, let's go. 
few adverts. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost at 40, but it's just so slow, and it? it's so slow. I am currently, um, 39,922 subscribers. I'm getting there, but it's slow. I might have to change country soon, or add a new country soon, should I say. I'm not sure. Haven't decided. Ugh. Hi, I'm again, Fires. Sidey, mate, Sidey, I can't, I, and so that's initially what I did, I was, I did a few videos on America, but I just can't, I can't deal with the Yanks, mate, can't deal with the Yanks, I think my next country may be somewhere like Norway, because Norway's quite interesting, maybe, haven't decided yet, but we'll see. The Repair Shop Australia. There's always a sob story, though, aren't there? Don't do it. Don't do it, Sidey. Don't do it, man. <laughs> do you bother with France? France isn't somewhere that interests me. It's got to be somewhere that interests me. Hi, Marie. Hello. Right, game on. Good timing. Okay. What did I do? I did port to win, right? Hi, Shanice. What did I do? Um, I did port to win by 20. So I, I've done a fairly good win for port here. So fingers crossed it will, will be good. How's my, my NRL doing this week? Oh, my NRL, I'm two out of four. But the two that I've got are good results. Literally good results. Wow. Four, five, six. Mm. Right, port by 20. Uh, yeah, but Cal, I just don't have an interest. That's the problem. I just don't have an interest in the United States. Dum, 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 dum. I have to sing along to this. Sorry. I don't want to get copyrighted. We could live. For a thousand years. If I hurt you. I make wine from your tears. I told you. That we could fly. Sing along, everyone. Because we all have wings. And some of us don't know why. Dum -dum. I was standing. You were there. Two words collided. And that will never Ever tear us apart. Dum, 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 dum. There you go. That was enjoyable seeing that live. I can tell you that. Uh, but thank you. Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to travel to the United States. Game on. Here we go. This should be an absolute cracker of a game, as they say. But thank you, everyone, for being on the stream. And that is the way to start. Boom, boom, boom. 
I want you in my room. What a start. Within tw within 19 seconds. <laughs> Sounds about right, Shanice. Wow, what a good start for Port. That is perfect way. Oh, funny bounce after Gorn's, Gorn's touch there. Bang. What a goal. That was a cracking goal with the inside of his foot there. Uh, it's just a song. I think it's a Venger Boys song, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room to spend the night together. That song. Yeah, Fenger Boys. High, goal, high Coast Club. <laughs> Sidey knows it. Sidey's, Sidey's, uh, Sidey knows his, um, is it 90s or is it two th early 2000s? I think it's 90s, isn't it? This should be a quality game. I don't really see a lot in it. Yeah, late 90s. I don't see a lot in this game, to be honest. But who knows? Both teams, I think, are a similar standard. Um, or certainly finished off last year as a as a similar standard. Can D's... Oh, the post. Oh, Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So, 6-1. That was a post. Yeah, I think, as I said, especially at the end of last year, both teams were fairly similar. Uh, Port have certainly been the stronger team at the start of this season. But we are far too early to really make much of it. Oh, he couldn't get it out of his hands. What a flyer Port are having. Wow. 12-1 after two minutes. Hopefully, we're going to see a lot of goals, unlike some of the other games this week. Uh, the games this week haven't necessarily been very high scoring, have they? Um, we've had 71-67. Okay. Uh, with the Bombers game. Friday night, we had Carlton 137-81. Once again, North are scoring goals. Enough goals to beat teams. They just leak goals. They really need to work on their defence. Uh, Dockers at the Crows, 69-34, so quite low scoring as well. And obviously on Thursday, 72-92. So they've not been... We've had a bit of a mix. But maybe this is going to be a real attacking game, fingers crossed. Oh, maybe I need to get the old... Um, yeah, well, uh, North do score goals. That's the crazy thing. Uh, they really do score goals. But, like I said, they... Um, Okay, pulls up. Who is going to win? Oh, yeah, well, Crows just can't really score, can they? I saw um, yesterday they had a they had a little pop up that said how long since Crows last goal, and at the point it popped up, it was like forty four minutes. It's just crazy. Is it going to be a close one or is it going to be an absolute blowout? I really can't decide. 
I think it actually end up may end up being a bit of a blowout. We are only three minutes in though, so no worries. No, I AFL legend. If you saw, I thought I thought Crows may may sneak into the top eight, but nowhere near as good as Port were going to be. Port weren't going to come off last year and be worse than Crows. Let's be honest. Also, the quality of the stream should be better this, this week uh, because I have got my actual Sony camera working. Um, so that's on at the moment, which is quite good. It would be better quality. It would be like up to 2K. But obviously I've got ultra low latency to try to leave less lag between things. So. Oh, that's a poor ball. Those chickens are noisy this morning. Big kick in by Port. Oh, couldn't keep hold of it. Hang on, I need to see what these chickens are. I know, noisy. I doubt you guys. I doubt you guys could have heard, but they were quite. It was Bubbles, the white one, making a racket. There are a fair few empty seats over at the Oval today. A poor form for the uh, for the Port Port fans and D's fans. D's fans didn't want to make the trip apparently. Hi Kev, hello mate. Kev, if I'm right, I think you need to up your game in the old tipping, buddy. I'm pretty sure you're doing worse than me, aren't you? <laughs> well, I don't know. They are quite noisy this morning. Saying that, I don't know where the other two are because only one, seem, only Bubbles, the white one, seems to be out. Yes, it is gather round next week. It is. I don't know why it makes any difference to the attendance. It's only a bit of a gimmick, isn't it? There's still the same games going on. Oh. This ball today. Teams are struggling to keep it, aren't they? They really are. Nope. Nope. Can't get it. Can't keep hold of it. Oh, a serious point. Can anyone actually hear the chickens? <laughs> Bloody hell. During the break, I might need to go see what's up with them. Oh, I know. It should be. I, I agree, Cal. I do think it should be. Um, it should change state each year. But people from South Australia are not going to say that, are they? <laughs> Hey, uh, Warwick, I wasn't saying anything, mate. I wasn't saying anything. A uh, round of applause coming here from the crowd. Uh, ten-minute mark. Travis Boat wearing number ten, obviously. 
game number 350 last week was away so this is the chance the Port Adelaide faithful get to really pay some attention to their stalwart and at what 35 years of age is not 36 until August I don't know maybe we can keep going beyond this year but uh, congratulations to Trav Boat Oh uh, yeah I would much prefer if they had laid Easter eggs at the moment Kev I do love a nice Easter egg We started off the game quite open, didn't we? But now it's... it's Yeah, no one can really get a grips of the ball, can they? And I say that and put... Oh, it's gone out. No, that's not a mark. That's out. That was not inside the line. Surely not. That was not in the line at all. What is with these umpires? No, that wasn't that wasn't in at all. What the hell? As I said, I'm pretty sure Sydney had to deal with this as well. Uh, it's not my favourite team, I promise you. Swans are my team. I don't. I think that's some justice, at least. Uh, for D's but uh, what's the issue there is that the umpire is right there like the umpire is not some distance away the umpire was right in front of that ball a good a good position to see if it had gone over the line and he got it wrong I, I just I don't understand it's awful decision and they literally have one job to do well two Shocking. Twelve minutes forty gone. D's with the ball, playing it into the port area. Oh, it's just they just cannot keep hold of that ball. It's slipping straight through their hands. It's even then, Alia can't get it. Wow. Oh, the catching. The catching is shocking today. Wow, this has got to improve. It has really, really got to improve because they can't keep hold of the ball. Wow. Hi, Newtown. Uh, New Falconer. Hello, mate. The mallets are horrendous, aren't they? It is, uh, as, as we say pretty much most weeks, it is a poor style choice. There we go. We finally make a mark. Who else is in a space? They've gone for a big ball into the Melbourne's 15. Nope. Ball up. It's not wet there, is it? Unless the ground's wet and they... But they are not keeping the ball, are they? They really are not keeping the ball in their hands. Why is everyone going on about this? I just like Adelaide. That's all. I like Adelaide as the place. I am red and white, okay? Play on. <gasps> Bang! There you go. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Sidey. It's really dry. So, uh, how are they not... How are they... Hello. Ladies. How are they not able to keep hold of the ball today? They're enjoying that behind the goals. Standing room in, no 
of the Adelaide Oval, and this is a fast start from Port Adelaide. The old cameraman can't change, can't keep off those girls, can he? Dirty pervert cameraman. Port Adelaide been terrific, but there's a big watch for me. It's Harrison Pedro. Eighteen one. What a start for Port. What a start. Terrific pressure by Port there to strip him of the ball. Love to see him just settle into his position a little bit. Yeah, clearances. Clearances is all Port as well. I said, I, 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 I just state again, it's that the handling from both teams has been really, really poor in this first, first nine, ten minutes. It's, um, I said, they just can't sit, leave him there. They, you know, it's really struggling to keep hold of it. That ain't staying on. They are. That is what they do, Cal. If you are a cameraman, you find the ladies. Don't you? You find the ladies. How many votes have we got in so far? 23 votes in Port, 70%. Not many people think Dees are winning this. It's certainly not started well for Dees. Steady and kick down the line. Just happy to go a little slow here, Melbourne, to make sure they don't get too far behind on the scoreboard. Clowns have called a Zerk Thatcher, and Cozzy Pickett doesn't slip too many tackles. Zerk Thatcher had an eternity, but they let it go. Cozzy had him round by the feet, didn't he? Oh! Oh no! Bold enough to take. Pretty good there by Dees. Ah, oh, plucked out of the air. Plucked out of the air. He's too far to score though, so he's just going to lump it in. I think. It's a weird one. Nice. They've got to score here. They've got to score here. Jesus, Gorn, Gorn does look a little bit sweaty, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, right, first shot on goal. Can he score? This one is harder to miss. This from directly in front to give Port Adelaide a fantastic start. Ivan. Oh. 19 1. 19 1. That wasn't the best of kicks. Uh, it wasn't the best of kicks in a fairly good. Hi, Greg. Is Greg top of the tipping? Surely not. I'm having a look now. I'm... Oh, hang on. I'm now having a look who's top of the tipping. I'm up 17 places. At the moment, Hazy is top, actually. Yin was top. territory at the moment it's almost exclusively in their front half Jones drops it maybe a chance here for Melbourne haven't got much forward of the football Pickett went with a barrel was touched off his boot that allows Burton to tidy it up relatively easily Radicalaya to Bergman it's extremely impressive how Porter is setting up behind the footy first back to that seven and a half minutes left maintain possession 19-1. This has not been good for, for Dees, has it? Not been a good start at all. They've just done nothing in front of goal. They haven't looked like scoring at all. Even they're behind. It wasn't anything special, was it? Thanks, Aaron. Game 100. Todd Marshall kicked four goals last week. Keen to get him back out there. Soldo, Van Royen, Oliver, 
<laughs> How? What? Where are for the tipping? What? Ah, uh, so Greg, Greg, come on, mate. you got to look at the overall picture. Well, they have finally scored a goal. 19-7. Bit out of nowhere, but uh, I suppose it keeps some minutes, sort of. Hi, Janet. Hello. You got to be good to wear bright coloured boots, don't you, really? If you're not good, then it's embarrassing. Yeah, that was a bit out of nowhere, that goal, wasn't it? You don't want this, and Port don't really want this to slip, this lead to slip in this, in this quarter in the last, what, six and a half minutes. But I can actually see this happening now. The, the Ds are starting slowly to just get a bit of possession and territory uh, in the in the port 50. So all that good start could be wasted. We're going to see in the next six minutes. It's bouncing all over the place, out of ball, out of play. Can't get my words out. <laughs> well, that's the thing. At Warwick, it's so early in the morning tomorrow. Like, so early, 6am, but it's, clocks go forward, so it's 5am, really. And by the time I have to get up and get everything sorted, we'll see. It's what? So the three disposals coming up from fourth, all contested, and the blood rule as well. Tracker. It's only if you're on TV it matters. Used. Ooh. Naughty, naughty. Oh. Yeah, yes, yeah. I get you. I get it now. That was slow of me, wasn't it? Um, I literally, oh, Sidey, I'm. I keep looking on the website. I've said I've got our friend coming over in June. Um, so I'm. We're still looking on the website because obviously, with Jordans, they sort of get released every kind of whenever sporadically. So we're still looking. Bang. And in you go. 1913. Yep, yeah, they are bringing it back. I When I was playing football, I always wore black boots. I always wore black ones, to be fair. But yeah, Sidey, when, um, when we choose the, sh the trainers, we'll get them, we'll get them delivered to his house in Adelaide. Um, and then when he comes over, he'll bring them over. Well, that makes this quarter a little bit closer. 1913. One goal in it. But this is the thing with these, isn't it? You can't really rule them out. They just do enough. That's what the thing. They always just do enough uh, in recent years. Paddles to his own advantage. He's got pressure there from Houston. Puts his head over the football. Butters comes the other way. 
It's such a this I, t I tell you this is such a strange game for possession. Considering you know people say oh when it's raining it's hard for people to catch it but it's not raining and they're still struggling to catch it. What's he going for? Mm, poor. Who's my favourite Swans player? Uh, Isaac Heaney. There you go. Oh, exciting. That'll be exciting, Sidey. Seeing a little one. Well, if you're around this way, then uh, if you're down this way, then obviously give us a shout. Uh, you catch the ball and that creates a mark. I think you're fine, Cal. Oh, there's nothing there, is there? There's nothing there on Gorn. Oh, he was a bit late, actually. No, he was a bit late. Ignore me. Ignore me. Yeah, exactly. That's what the Shanice, that's why I don't understand. You can't really blame it on sweat on their hands, can you? Nope. 1914. Really important battle in the context of this game. So much work. Mate, if I guys, if I have to put up with this, right? If I have to put up with this important moment crap again today. BT needs to shut up, honestly. Why does a why does a why does why does a goalie wear gloves then? Well, they never used to. But if you are having a ball booted at you really hard, one, it's it's padding, so it doesn't break your fingers and your hands, uh, and secondly, because it gives you better grip, I suppose. But. I would suggest it's mate, yeah, partly for both those reasons. Oh, Leah, that's naughty, naughty. How? I'm not an Aussie, mate. I am not an Aussie. You still have to catch the ball to create a mark. A mark is the outcome of catching the ball. The D's have just taken the lead. Bloody hell. Wow. Oh, no, that was definitely... Aaliyah definitely um, body-checked him, as they say. Well, it depends. Um, it, so idea may be wet in the fact that they may have watered the grass. Because they do that in football. Before a football match, they'll quite often water the grass. I don't know if they do, would do that in AFL. I'm not sure. I don't know why they would do it, but... Tumbles a kick towards half forward. Pitches inside 50. Dixon comes steaming out. Rivers tries to spin through the traffic. Finlayson puts his head down, wins the football, but coughs it up. Alia stands underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If it is that hot. Yeah. Over his shoulder for a time check from the bench. It's amazing how this quarter has changed. There's a minute and a half left. But it's amazing how there's been sort of two... Well, one, one, one half of this quarter was... Uh, 
was poor, and then the second half has been more or less D's. What? What clash of heads? Weird. Impressive Windsor to Neil Bullen. Jones got rid of Cozzy Pickett. Now Connor Rosie almost ran out of space. Got it back to Jones. Happy to dump this one down the line. Darcy Byrne Jones. Howes dropped the mark. And now it spills to Dixon. Back to Byrne Jones. Windsor applied a really good tackle. But held on too long. Free kick. Going Port Adelaide to <laughs> They are not happy with the umpires, are they? So they held on for too long. Yeah, but, yeah, but the D's player, he doesn't know that the ball has been released and therefore he's going to take him to the ground, right? I, I, that's ridiculous. How he how he got that mark and he didn't even jump. There was what four or five players there and he didn't even jump. Can he score? That is time for the quarter, so he can take his time now. Ah, oh, leave Dixon alone. This is some serious swing he's going to have to put on this. Swing. Well, they did lose the lead, but they have taken the lead back. 25-20. Wow. Excellent. Uh, not a bad, not a bad first quarter. A little bit messy. Um, I need to turn the sound down a second. I don't really want the music to get me. Um, I'm quickly going to go check on the chickens because they were making a weird noise earlier. Uh, so I'm going to put that I'm going for a toilet break, but not really. Uh, so I will see you again in a second, guys. Won't be a second. Thank you. 
Thursday, fine. What? Yeah, I think you're missing your call, Grace. Gary, as your local car gets older, make sure to wash them as fresh as if it's been dried eight times, even when drying in the sun. Mm. That eight year old battery life and still so soft, even next to sensitive skin. Very eight year old is very soft and fresh as if dried outside. Lucy Lee on your Donna B in the ultimate celebration. What? Just for Lucy and Em. Oh, did you miss it? All right, I've returned. Oh. The chickens are fine. Can you unmute you? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, where am I unmuting? Is it me that I don't? I don't think it's me, mate. I've not got you muted. I wasn't, I, I didn't go for a week. I was checking on the chickens. The black one has lost some feathers on her neck. Poor thing. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure I can do it. Oh, you're already down as a streamer, so you should have sound. Oh yeah, no, my sound's down, which will be going up again now. My sound's back up. Well, you can maybe put him up forward, or you can maybe have uh, Viney run with someone else so that he can't, Willem Drew can't run with him all game. But yeah, I don't think it's anything to do with me, Sidey, mate. Fast and furious start to this game. Big crowd in, beautiful night in Adelaide. Gorn you. just charged at Soldo and then one clean possession here is fine. He has started at half forward with set of bounce. Right, and second quarter is underway. Uh, Charlie, no, it, it was something she had an egg not proper inside her, so Charlie fixed it yesterday, but feathers have been coming out because of it, so it should all be fine now. About 15 seconds, and that one not far behind it. Scoring and but it looks funny because it's still got like the bits where the feathers go into and it looks funny. Well, D's are back in the lead. We see a couple of positional changes. Aaron's an oracle. Jack Viney started forward. Christian Salem into the middle as well. I touched on it right at the start of the game. Centre bounce is critical. Where is everyone? Honestly. Back in front now, a chance for Port Adelaide. I have the usual regulars. Only as far as Marty Hoare at 50. Hey. You mentioned Salem into the centre bounce. Didn't touch the ball in the first quarter, Jonesy. Is this the first time he's ever been for a centre bounce? <laughs> Kick towards the wing. Even Aaliyah can't keep hold of it. Odd. Houston in there scrapping. Spills out the back. Radagalaya. Drew. Fantastic first term, as we've mentioned. Houston twisting and turning. Needs an option. Clever bounce kick. Evans. Drew on the overlap. Can look up and go to a one on one inside 50. Petty's got the set. Nice. Yeah, nice, Mark. Good defending. 
Dangerous kick on the way out. Burton floats over the top. Billings kept his eyes on the football. Boat slides in to force a contest. Just want to reverse back to your comment on Salem Silk. He, uh, he spent all of the preseason training as a midfielder, but has, to, has had to go back because of Jake Bowie v being out. But Goody's pulled the trigger and sent him back in uh, him into the game. Start this quarter. Probably not. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I know. They should be on here watching me. Rude. happening everywhere around the Adelaide Oval. Gorn and Soldo, one of those. Ryan Burton handed it to Langdon. Ball! Ball! Folks been busy. This is an important ball to be won. Burn Jones charged at it. Marty Hoare smashed it the other way. Oh. Take it high. high contact! He's literally got him under the armpits. What are you talking about? High con How is it high contact under the armpits? That ridiculous. Misses the target. <sighs> Make them pay the rebound, Rioli. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Bit of candy to Max Gordon. The C's part for Rioli. All football for Burn Jones. That's right. I'm not annoyed at the umpires. His teammate Langdon into some pressure, but he dealt with it. Yeah, no, no. A natural left footer. Short one's okay to Gordon. His channel lives to the bench. He's a man down at the moment, but they have the football gone. Spreads it for Windsor. <laughs> he looks for an option inside 50. Langdon's found a hole. It was a really important contest on the wing. When Langdon got the ball, and Butters was stalking him from behind. Went to oh, are they going to take a seven-point lead? And then follows it up inside oh, come on. Hardly high contact, was it? You had one arm under the under the armpit and the other one on the bicep. Bloody ridiculous. These have kicked four of the last five after conceding the first three of the game. Langdon. Yep. 25-32. D's take the lead again. Well, I've actually know they were already in the lead, but you know what I mean. Very true. Very true. Ed Langdon with a reliable finish. It should. Well, I'd like to think it'll be a fairly high scoring game at least. I don't know if any team will make 100. Uh, but it should be a fairly high game at least. By seven. Langdon just drifting in slowly after that contest on the wing. He's at the seven disposals at 100%, but he just finds a big hole, drifts down there, and goes back and kicks a goal. He's having a really good game. Uh, I think you're right, Dark Soul. You know, uh, Port. who have Port played so far? I can't remember, to be fair. Clayton Oliver goes on the attack again, and there is a mark to Zerk Thatcher. Did well. So he shares it Stand. with Radigalia. Now going to go into bit possession mode here, Port Adelaide. To Alia. Jackson Mead. That kick was ambitious. Nice. Closed the space beautifully. Petrarca. See yeah, see, that is the thing, isn't it? It's Yes, it's great to beat those teams. West Coast and Richmond. It is great to beat those teams, but it's not necessarily the biggest test, is it? So it is It is what can Port do when they face the Ds, the Pies, uh, the Swans, you know, those teams. That is the real question and the test, isn't it? And we're seeing what they can do here. Look, you know, I think it's still been fairly even. They started with an absolute flyer, um, but they have drifted off recently, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Got to show you can beat, you know, the top top teams. And then there's no reason why they can't. Ooh. They're playing on. Pickett's with it. He's going to take the kick. Yeah, 
the end result, Aliyah should be calling for a change up there to get a faster player on Cozzy. Five goals, one for the season. Can Cozzy score? Steps around, bends it. Oh, did that go through? No one on the goal line will frustrate Simon Goodwin. The Pies are going to check it. Did it go through before? That's a goal. Oh, you absolute idiot. That is a goal. Why literally did he not stand in front of the goal? Oh, that is poor. Why did he stand behind the goal line? If you stand behind the goal line, the goal goes across. It is a goal. Stand in front of it. Just hit, let it hit you. And it's not a goal. That is really poor. Wow, that is really poor. It doesn't even matter the fact he dropped it. Just stand in front of the goal. Wow. But it's it. It doesn't even matter. Just stand in front of the goal. And then he, you know. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, just get any touch on it. Really, really poor. 25-38. Are we seeing the Ds start to dominate now? Are we seeing... Are we Are we seeing what Port are like under pressure? While they love Christian Salem up the ground, they have been pushing it earlier this season. He's been deployed in that position again. Apps, yeah, just anything. Good tackle. Good tackle by Petrarca. Yeah, as BT saying, yeah, it is only a 13 point difference at the moment but like he said it does feel now like it's the d's that are dominant and they've got the momentum at the moment well that's not good, Kev, because I did Dolphins to win by six. So that's not good. I'm sure Gorn spent more time off the field than he has on it. Nice. These are playing on. Running down the wing. Oh, poor ball. Poor ball. He had time there. He had much more time to keep it. Hi, Yin. Yin, you're not top of the table at the moment, mate. You've lost. You've lost your lead. Just, just thought I'd let you know. Hi. Oh, Gorn's back on now. He's getting mobbed there. Plenty of port, f port players there. Ooh, he had a knee in his face. That one, that one is the right call. He sort of did have a knee in his face. Hi, Lax, bro. All right, leave Cozzy alone. He didn't mean it. Just over 13 minutes left. Port needs to get some momentum here. Or at least not give any more goals away. Uh, Charlie's, uh, she's okay. She's still struggling with her head, but otherwise she's fine. Tonight becomes the 
God, he looks young. He looks really young. Can he score from here? No. No. Not amazing. He could have gone for the goal there at least. I hope you weren't listening to me, AFL legend. Uh, Mandy, she's had a headache for over a month and waiting for an MRI and things. Rioli! Back to seven. Little P-roller. Yeah, she's struggling a little bit, but she'll get there. Yeah, she hasn't been very well, hence why she wasn't on... Um, she didn't come to Poland with me the other week. See the amount of numbers there. There's so much numbers there, but the sweeper gets sucked in. And Willie's able to turn and kick a goal along the ground. Melbourne need to hold the defensive structure there a bit better because there's so many players in and they just get dragged to the ball but Willie just produces something special there when they need it because Melbourne have got the momentum at the moment we see K hopefully in hopefully because I did port by 20 oh that uh, was a useful touch, possibly. Pickett's got it. He's... Whoa! That's an angle. The angle of his foot there. It's a decent effort. Yeah, it would have. That was a decent effort, wasn't it? Hi, Jimbo. That was a really, really decent effort by Cozzy Pickett. I'm surprised more people don't kick it like that, to be fair. Because it's a decent enough target to try and hit. And you never know. If you're not likely to get a goal um, any other way, sometimes not facing the goal is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. He's an exciting... Because he's an, is a, is a fairly exciting player. He's, he's very nimble, isn't he? That's probably the best way to put it. He's very nimble. Uh, I think I got six out of eight last week, mate, but I didn't get many close. Or did I? You have to watch the tipping video each week to find out. He lost, lost sight of the ball there. Oh, good. Good. I need Dolphins to win, I told you. Dolphins by six. Yeah, I think I think those the indigenous players, I said like you said, like Cosi, Rioli, and, and Betts, they have that sort of nimble explosiveness, don't they? And that's what makes them quite exciting. The explosiveness. I hope Titans don't win. Oh, it's a big, big ball across. No. Behind. 32-39. 10 minutes 30 left of the half. And Petty that have lots of experience playing with that group. Yeah, absolutely. They did look a little shaky early, but it seems, as I've already touched on, they are playing with a little bit more dare, a bit more. Here we go. Uh, Porter finding a little bit more now. Porter certainly finding a little bit more of the ball at least. Whether or not they're doing anything with it is another matter. But they're certainly having a little bit more possession, which doesn't mean anything if you don't score. Uh, but that is a decent one. Yin. None of this Yankee rubbish. Number nine, nice. 
Uh, New Falconer, you've got to be bad not to even be in the top 100, man. It's not... You can literally just pick the favourites and you'll be in the top 100. <laughs> Oh, that's harsh. Maybe he didn't hear you. Luckily, it's not. Luckily, pushing pushing fifty isn't um, that bad. It's, he's not. You know, he's still in his own half. I don't know. Blame Yin. Yin decided to talk about that Yankee rubbish. Kev, Kev, and Jimbo are just talking about NRL. As, as obviously, we, I tip that as well. We're not seeing a lot from Gorn today, are we? Maybe he's had his time and his, his peak is gone. But we're not seeing a lot from Gorn, and I big him up a lot. Oh, Dixon. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. He can't moan. He's just slid into his head. You can't slide into the guy's head, for Christ's sake. So this last few minutes has been, been mostly poor, hasn't it? But it's what you do with the possession. It's not about how much you've got. It's about what you do with it. Oh. That was good by Gorn, to be fair. Ah, uh, Port, get it. Uh, he's got to score this one. Surely. This is harder to score in a brothel. Darcy Byrne Jones. Oh. 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 Just. Just. Just bent in time. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine. But that's uh, that's interesting, though, isn't it, Dark Soul? Because actually. We've seen the sim. We've seen similar with uh, with Isaac Heaney this year. Last year he was poor. Isaac was really, really poor. Move him into midfield, and he's made such a difference. Only one in and now it is it is proven to be a good game so far with a lot of mistakes, but it is close, and that is the main thing. Oh, just bounced away from his foot. Oh, I like that, mate. Yeah, I do like harder to score in a brothel. Basically, it's bloody easy, so they had to score it. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Seven minutes to go of the half. Waits the kick. Brown comes out off the chest. Here we got Max Devon. Going at the back. Oliver plucks it out of the air. Snaps towards half forward, bouncing football. Radical layer will be first back there. Runs into his own man, Jones. Two very big bodies coming together there. No harm done for Port Adelaide. Thanks, mate. Max. 
Oh, he took out his own player. They are trigger happy with their whistle. The umpires are upsetting the crowd. However, it's been a mixture. There's, there's been, there has been the, the decisions they've got right that the fans have moaned about. Uh, and then there have been some strange decisions, obviously. I'm trying to see what I did for the Eagles game. Not sure. Anyway. It's getting noisy at the Oval, isn't it? It is getting noisy. Five and a half left. Brown the next target. Got a hand to it, couldn't reel it in. Petrarca tried to get the handball to Salem. It was knocked away. Wines put his head down, crashed through, got it to Jones. Bergman back towards 50 for Port Adelaide. Finlayson comes over the top. Oliver swoops in. Burn Jones taken down. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Almost a little back heel there from Rosie goes out. Port Adelaide, when they get the game on their terms this year, Sean, it's all been about kick mark. Short kicks to uncontested marks and controlling and almost that keeping's off. Well, that's how you win a game. Well, they make the opposition defend them for longer and they've got such good ball users and then they get it into a 1v1 isolated contest. They're trying to get that game going now. Into the D's 50. No, no one can mark it. Defence are working overtime. How Salem... Oh, I just. Oh my word! Okay. Bang! Goal! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Excellent. Very nice finish. He didn't take his time. The mark was... There was the mark. Played on. Very good goal. Fantastic kick. Power. Dum, 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 dum. Da, 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 dum. Power. Yeah, it's it's a decent game. I said it is lacking a little bit of the the quality in in the said keeping the ball in their hands, but maybe that is a, just simply because both teams are pressing well and and putting the other team under pressure. Maybe that is the reason for the fumbles. No. Mm. Look at those numbers. Port Adelaide controlling the football. Yeah, I think I think we should probably assume that that's the reason for the the fumbling. Both teams are very much. They're both teams are fairly pressing, aren't they today? No teams are giving much space at all. Like you see here, like there is always, look, as soon as a player gets the ball, there is a man on them, isn't there? It could certainly go either way this game, couldn't it? As long as it goes to port by 20, just so I get some points for my tipping. 
Billings. Travis Boat game 351. Still producing. He's just pushed him. That was obvious. At least make it a bit more sly, you idiot. Watch, he'll have to cheat to moan at the umpire as well, won't he? Well, I didn't push him. You did. You really did. Honestly, the commentator's jokes are not funny. Provides inspiration for the younger players coming through that they can play longer as well. And Travis is one of the yeah. ultimate professionals in the game. It's well documented what he does to get up for each week for each game. Born Neil Bullen, Petrarca inside 50 for the D's. Radical at the front. Tough night for Van Roy. Yeah, end this court because I really need to blow my nose. Spoke again. I don't know. I don't really think I have a fav. Well, if it's AFL, I don't have a favourite commentator. In football, I like Clive Tilsley. Oh. Literally, they're juggling it with their hands. These with the ball. Can he score? Oh, goal. Nice little dummy. Nice little dummy there. Very good. 45-45 with two minutes and four left. What a... Yes. There's pros and cons. So, hello. Hello. Uh, there's pros and cons so far, isn't there? But uh, it's a close game. Well, obviously, I know BT, but he's sometimes okay. But he says debut, and that annoys me too much. So, and this is what I'll you say that, Riley. Riles, Riles, or whatever his name is, is actually on now, but he doesn't really talk much, does he? Plus, he's plus. I'm uh, looking now. Riles is like this. Hang on. I'm behind on my stream. Would you like it if I sat like this in the stream, guys? <laughs> That's what Riles' stream looks like. I like, to, I like to let you see me in all my glory. Miscued the kick, but it was picked up cleanly, and the handball was good from Dixon. Is he? I know, bad. I do slouch too much. Oh, intercepted. Intercepted. You've got to use your eyes. Unbelievable. Nah, don't worry, Sidey. Don't worry. You don't need to know, mate. You don't need to know. Ball out. That's a poor choice in balls. Come on. You've got to use your eyes. You can't play to one man who is marked by three players. All right. One minute left of the half. Welcome to the stream if you've just joined. Thank you so much for being here. He ain't got that much of a cannon, surely. Bang. He's just getting in there, isn't he, really? Gorn. Well done for Gorn. 37 seconds left. Oh. Even when they're not under pressure, I'm still not sure if they can mark the ball. To be fair, I think we're making an excuse for them saying that they're under pressure all the time. Big ball into the D's 50. Nope. Six seconds left of the half. This has been the arm wrestle all night. If we can get the ball inside forward 50, then lock it in with defence. Forward half turnovers. Create secondary opportunities to score. 
Is there a late goal on offer here for Port Adelaide? Dixon, clean possession. Hooks it back to the boundary line. And, and that is the siren for half time. Uh, I am desperate to blow my nose. Spring is coming. Uh, yeah, spring is coming. And therefore, yeah. Keen to get out there and get amongst his players. We expected something special tonight. And they have been let us down at all these two teams in the first half. Travis Boat. Right, I will be back in a minute. I'm going to go to the little boys' room. Thank you for joining me already. Uh, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. There will be more Australian videos coming, I promise you that. Uh, I will be back in one, maybe two minutes. Toilet break time. Go. I better turn down the sound, otherwise you get annoying noise. I have returned. 
Uh, there are more likes, Sidey. You gotta re uh, refresh the stream, I think. Oh. So, what have we got for me? Uh, yeah, I've just ordered replacement blades. So it has kept the grass nice and short, uh, but the robot lawnmower is going well. It is going very well. I do need to really work on reseeding the grass, though. I might get someone in to do it. And my fence is half blown over. It's been quite windy, and um, it blew over like a month ago. I sort of bodged it. But I really need it redone completely. I might actually... Yeah. Demasonator, watch the game. The game is half time, mate. What are you banging on about? Do, 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 do. Mm. Mm. Sidey, you say I don't know wind. Trust me, it has been bloody windy. It has been awful, mate. It's been so bad. But yeah, no, I probably do need a fence installation done. I don't know how much it costs to actually get fence installed with like the posts and stuff because the posts have basically snapped. I need to search, I think. Uh, technically, no. I think so. In the UK, because we're on a terrace house, in the UK, it is if you look out the back door, the fence on your left is yours, and the fence on your right is your neighbour's. So, technically, it's our fence that has come down. So, yeah. They said they would share the cost, but I, th I it's our fence, technically. So, yeah. Thing is, I just need something cheap, really. Yeah. 3,000? What's that? 1,600 or something? It depends. I suppose it depends if you're in a, if you're in a detached house, then obviously it's all yours, isn't it? But... Hmm... I'll have a look round. I will have a look round. Oh. Who? Les someone? Uh, it's just an old fence you got where you... Well, basically, with the wind... It's just an old... I don't know. Just a normal fence, I suppose. Look on one of my live streams or something. Uh, on my, um, either my chicken or lawnmower vlogs. But uh, it's basically the, the fence posts. you got to see a load of fence posts that are in the ground and two of them snapped. And so I sort of bodged it and it hasn't done a very good job. So basically just like a load of, it's got like five panels or something with posts in between. But yeah. Bit annoying.
I assume, yeah, four by six, I think, four by six or something like that, six by four, I think, six by four. Yellow and red cards, AFL legend, but I bang on about that all the time, so people are probably fed up with me bang about it still. Oh. Hmm. Uh, hang on. Is it six? No, it's no, it's not six foot high. Or is maybe it's six foot long by five foot? I don't know, something like that. Okay, yeah, thirty meters is quite long. Mine's like. Mine's maybe 10 metres. God, look at this. Look at this going on about how big your fences are. Hard life, you lot of gone it. Investec Champions Cup. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Sidey. That's basically what you guys are doing. Uh, I do have some vodka. You'll see in tomorrow's video uh, a special a special couple of packages from Australia that I've recently received. Uh, that we will be unboxing and tasting. Um, so that should be quite good. Who's my favourite non-Swans non player? Uh, probably Gorn, to be fair. Ah, uh, yeah, but Sidey, what vodka is it? I bet it's not as good as the vodka as I have unopened at the moment I can't tell you until the video tomorrow though tick tock tick tock ah uh, see it's not as good as it's not as good as what I've got mate yeah I know absolute uh, it's not as good as what I've got I can I can guarantee it. Even though vodka probably will taste roughly the same, but no. Let's just say this vodka I've got is smooth AF. <laughs> that is actually the slogan. So well, let's have a look at the 62 votes here. We're still 65% for Port to win. Interesting. 
I still favour Port to win this at home as well, but it's going to be a tough, tough old finish in the second half. Dulux. Oh, we could probably do a paint in the house. Have coffee and vodka, vodka together. I don't like vodka. I uh, don't like coffee, sorry. Everyone knows that. UFC 300. UFC is going to sound a bit weird when it starts getting into the thousands, isn't it? Nah, I don't I don't think there's gonna be a draw. Surely not a draw. That'd be a crazy one. Uh Jake on uh, we've got a couple of Facebook comments. Uh can I show the game? No, not really, but the game will be sh is sort of showing in that bottom corner and it's quite small. Uh the game is showing, I think, at the moment in Discord server by Sidey. Uh so yeah. If you go look in the Discord server, it is in there. Uh, Jake says, I haven't seen a more boneheaded piece of play this season than Isava Rat Ratugaloi. Rat Ratugalia. Ratugalia on the goal line. Uh, that was stupid. It's not the first time he's cost his team a goal during doing that either. That was ridiculous, right? All he had to do was stand in front of the goal and let it hit him. Uh, yeah. I should do a ranking favourite and least favourite AFL teams vid, Rob. Well, I've done for, I've done the songs and I've, I've done kits before. Yeah, it was quite, it's quite a difficult one to say. Okay. Second half is about to start. The players are out again. It should definitely go to the fourth quarter, shouldn't it? Ratagalia. Ratagalia? Or is it Ratagalea? Ratagalea. I don't know. Well, I don't think you can compare the team fans if you don't know the team fans well enough. Right. Buzzer for the game to start. There's upside for both teams in what we've already seen is a terrific duel. Yeah, I think Port Adelaide's ball movement has kept Melbourne in the game at, at times because we thought without May being there, they may go ballistic and go fast to try to expose the Melbourne defence. They haven't. They've gone a bit slow and Melbourne defence have held up and held oh, the God, my nose. The other way. So it'll be interesting to see how... Uh, I, I've got no... I, to be fair, Shani, so I've got no real... Um, <coughs> Um, I've got no real reference for, for Millwall because we don't really play Millwall as a Saint, a Saint so. Thought on Eddie Betts' kids getting abused by people driving by yelling at them. That this is. I tell you what, Sidey, that's very similar to. Um, 
uh, in rugby, Owen Farrell's, his wife and kids have been getting abused. Uh, and that's a step too far. I think there's a certain amount players have to take. Um, but when it then leads on to family members, that's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, that's wrong. Three goals in the first 30 seconds, one of each quarter, but Melbourne held up. Stand, stand. Neil Bullen has it at right stand. half back. Wait. Wins up. I don't think we will, Shanice. Uh, I really don't think we will. So, like last night, Saints, or yesterday, Saints played and we drew to Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough scored in the 90th minute. Uh, and we really needed that win. And I, I don't think we can hit auto, auto place at, at the moment. We're really not on a great form. Too many draws. Langdon, good. He kept hold of that well. Has he got anyone to give it to? Going down the wing. Oh. What's he blown for? Holding. change petty you can see providing that outlet option he's back down forward it's what confronts Aaliyah. uh how are liverpool doing well the premier league is between three teams at the moment uh liverpool arsenal man city so they're doing okay i still think arsenal are going to win the league this year though the intercept specialist Spears down the line, he kicks it straight back to another great intercept play. <laughs> Jot Elias shows, shows sometimes real signs of quality and then sometimes the opposite. He's it, Elias doesn't seem like an average player. It's either it's either good or bad. Oh, through his hands. And it's copped a little high knock against Marty Hoare and Bergman just about back himself from here. It was a bit clumsy there, wasn't it? Head over the ball and just tips him high, but drops an easy mark to start off with. That was a fairly simple mark. Slips straight through his hands, but Port have a chance on goal. Are they going to take it? No. No, right across the right across the goal mouth. Not the greatest of kicks, really, was it? Ball's bouncing funny. Not the strongest of first three minutes of this half. Not that strong. All right, we know it didn't cross the line. What? Do you really need that? Looking at this angle, we can see the ball does not cross the scoring line. Decision on scoreboard. Remember the time where the players played on that long and a score review has taken place. But but if the soft call from the umpire is play on, but he just wants to double check. I'm not sure if we really needed to worry about that one, did we? Cow, once again, you're wrong. If, a, if two teams are even, then a draw is a fair result. You should be able to split the points. He's been very good, AFL legend. He has been very, very good. Solid, consistent. Got the back door open, but it's bloody cold, so the dog can go in and out. Well, we're yet to get any. We're yet to get anything in goal this uh, this half in the first three and a half minutes. Uh, it's not a lot happening at the moment.
what's it, half eight? Half eight p.m. in in Adelaide at the moment. It's still hot. Nice. This is a win for Port. Just the ability to be able to lock it in, hold territory. They've got terrific defensive structure behind the ball. Discipline from Melbourne to just hold on and yeah. And yes, sorry, eight thirty-nine. Nice. I, w I just can't wait for summer to get it, but weather's weather's not looking great for another week at least. It is rubbish. Really, really rubbish at the moment. The sun's out, but... Only oh, no, it's not. Clouds have come across. Depressing. <laughs> come on, let's get scoring. I don't think we're going to get over the, over the 100 today, actually. Yeah, oh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we're getting over a hundred in this game. Speed it up a little bit. Speed it up. I don't normally say speed it up, but I think the, the game needs. I think this this second half has started a little bit slow. Come on, they're speeding up now. You can tell it's speeding up a little bit because the commentators speak quicker. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, he's playing on. He's playing on. He's got a score. He can't miss. Bang. There we go. There we go. Finally. Yeah, but the grand final is different because it's a knockout. When it comes to the finals, cow, it becomes a knockout. So it's different to the league. So that's not that's not even a that's not even that comment doesn't even make sense because it's a completely different scenario. In a knockout, of course you can't have a draw because there needs to be a winner. But in the league, there doesn't need to be a winner because it's all about how many points you get. We've been through this. It's not bullshit. It's not, though, is it? It's a different format. It is a different format. 51-45. That did take five minutes to get that goal in the second half, but we're underway now. Hopefully, we're getting a little bit more life. It's definitely going down to the fourth quarter, though, isn't it? I reckon this game. It's definitely. Three moves on there before he finally got clear. Dixon made sure it came to ground. Burn Jones. And then the little toe poker forwards. Not bad. Marshall and Lever. Lever with all his guile and skill has picked it up and thrown it. So it'll be a free kick to Marshall. He only offers a lead. Marshall will go to the pocket. Big ball in. Big. Oh, punched out. Left his man and thumped it over the line. Umpires throwing it in. Inside the D's 50. Those umpires can throw it quite far, can't they, behind their heads? I'll have to practice and see how far I can get it. Oh, that's high. That's high. All right, it was an accident. Accident, chill out. It's one of them ones when you go to tackle a player, it's a bit smaller than you, and they drop their, their, their centre of gravity just a little when you get too high. Ah, uh, he did sort of, he did, because he did sort of, uh, not because sorry, really, did sort of just collapse, didn't he? He did sort of just fall. Come on, Rioli. 
I don't think he looks confident here. I don't think he's going to score. Oh, no. Behind. Well, they're seven points clear now. I'm sure that Dees will have something to say about that, though. Port have started fine and a little bit more, haven't they? Possessions and a goal. Here we go. Back. Hard work for the forwards tonight. The defensive structures in place. Making life pretty difficult for all forwards. Gorn. Finlay sent in the ruck this time. Out the back, Travis Boat. Been really impressive. Straight up in the air, Lockie Jones spirals it. Ooh. Oh, nice mark by Dixon. That was a that was a good mark. That was a really good mark. The pressure, the ability yet to to shift to the side as well to really shift his body. Very very good and reach. Can he score though? Can he score? He's got to score after that mark. That was a decent one. Bang. Charlie, contested mark. Oh, 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 oh. Off the post. Hey, uh, I've got an idea, Cal. Cal, I think hitting the post is unacceptable. I think we need to remove the posts. Not at all taking the piss or anything, but yeah, let's let's remove the post so he can't get hit the post. <laughs> Oh. Good punch away. Oh, what a punch. Fantastic. At least you got it, Stinky. At least you got it, mate. <laughs> Just trying to be a wind-up match. That's all it is. So, 11 minutes 50 left of the third quarter. D's, D's, are they going to, are they going to break Port's momentum? They are in the Port's 50 at the moment. Yeah, just remove the umpires. Yeah, might as well get rid of them as well. Maybe just do one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one players. That'd be a lot of goals, wouldn't it? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Rosie's 15th disposal coming up working really hard against this high quality. Yeah, hitting the post should be extra points because it's harder to do. That is a good shout, Dark Soul. Double points for hitting the post. Uh, I think being an umpire in AFL would be easier because there's a lot less decisions to give. It's, it's, yeah, I think, yeah, it'd be a lot less subjective as well. I think it'd be easy to be an AFL umpire. Well, that was Jack Billings' third possession for the game. They wanted the ball in his hands a bit more. Clearly see why he's a bit cold missing that target by about 10 metres. So he's got to get working and get into the game. I know. I've got a good idea. I reckon, just like in Bowles, Bowles Premier League uh, and in the Big Bash, they should have power play. Let's add power play. Maybe 10 minutes or one quarter. You decide the quarter that you're going to have a power play in the match. And it's double points. That would be good, wouldn't it? Power play. AFL power play. You can change the colour of the ball or something. Make it green just for a laugh. Have a green ball so no one can see it. They don't have power play, do they? Not in in AFL. 
Maybe Butters match up. Butters starting to have a big impact on the game. Up to 17 possessions now. Like to see someone from Melbourne putting some time into him, particularly at stoppage. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? That's a good shout. These rules, this is this has become a good conversation. What rules can you bring in to make it more exciting? Power play for one quarter, multi ball. Yeah. Or if you score, one of if you score, one of your players has to go off. Yeah. That'll be good, wouldn't it? It's basically all, it's like different game modes in FIFA. As, yeah, but if you have multi-ball or whatever, Aussies do like goals, right? Do like goals. That's what they like about AFL. So, you would certainly get goals in multi-ball, wouldn't you? Oh, in. Nice. They're back in it. 53 51. <laughs> there are so many ways. So many ways we can make the AFL even more exciting, isn't there? Maybe we, if someone can write these up, these ideas up. Yeah. If anyone can write these ideas up and we'll all sign it and uh, we'll send it to AFL, see if they get back to us. See the defensive pressure here. The, hat, the applied pressure, the referred pressure on the Willem Drew to hat kick that ball in the air. Neil Bullen takes that mark and goes back and kicks a... Uh, no, it's not Red Bull. It's some cheap stuff from Home Bargains. It's called Let's Get Ready to Rumble Energy. It's, it's, uh, Michael Buffer is on the back. Don't know why, but he is. It was just cheap, like 50p. And it's sugar free. This is a tight game, isn't it? We blow in four umpire. Let him get on with it. Uh, just blow. Let's all blow. Let's just all the umpires blow for the sake of it. We could always do it where the women's AFL is more like what they tried with the XFL where basically the women have to all wear bikinis. That's good. I'd probably watch that. That would give me more more likely to watch the the women's AFL. Is it? Is it though, Sidey? I think it's a great idea. Port Adelaide had so much momentum and control, but just couldn't get it on the scoreboard again. This defensive effort from Melbourne. They're so hard to score against Spiney. Willem Drew. Big tackle. Big, big tackle. <laughs> You're telling me, Sidey, if... In the women's AFL, they had to wear bikinis instead. You wouldn't watch it. I think that would increase viewership. That would increase viewership. It would. Promise. Let's check it with Aaron Phillips. What's happening down there, Aaron? Yeah, boys, obviously a really, really tight contest. Just watching Jake Lever's positioning. He's, he's sucking Jeremy Finlayson up to the contest, and that's why he's been able to get those intercept marks. But um, it's a very, very tough contest right now, boys. There you go. See? See, Sidey? People would watch it. <laughs> I would make one rule. I'd make I'd make uh, the men wear sensible size shorts as well. They should wear sensible size shorts rather than these, well, 
hot pants, basically, the men wear. Oh, he definitely marked that. Oh, my nose. Right, you know, you know, uh, players are meant to, when they do a hand pass, they're meant to punch the ball. They don't always punch the ball, do they? They don't. Most of, uh, quite often, they just throw it. They just do an underarm throw. I, it confuses me, because surely the umpire should give, give fouls for that. I completely agree, Sidey. Women women want that equality and all that, but they almost don't want the equality. And then, because it's not as interesting. It's, they had this debate, didn't they? Um, I don't know if it was on, on Australian TV or men's TV. Um, about It was Australian TV, about the World Cup being in, in Australia, the Women's World Cup. And the women are like, on the panel, were like, oh, yeah, it's great. And the bloke's like, well, how many of you watch it? How many of you know any of the players? How many, you know, they don't. So it's it's all nonsense. Front and centre, Neil Bullen. What's he got inside 50? Not much. Hence he retreats. Can he retain possession with a smart kick to Sparrow? He can. Port had numbers back. As Christian Petrarca looks to be okay. Sparrow. Roy comes out. He's still pulling again. Ooh. Get it there. Oh, no. 54-52. Uh, by the way, the football public, absolutely. Not internally, though. He's uh, the most consummate, professional, ultimate team player, role player. He's well and truly loved and recognised internally. And I think he's proving his worth since they've won the flag on how... What is he banging on about? Nice. Five minutes and ten left of this quarter. No, that's high. That was high. He literally had him around the neck. That's what? I, I just... That was high. Look, right round his neck. See? And it's right in front of the umpire again. How can they get wrong decisions wrong when they're in a perfect viewing? You got one, two, three, four umpires there in the space of of thirty meters. Awful. Really poor. Another behind. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Jace Burgoyne is about to come on. As as I said, the the issue is there are too many umpires to have consistency because all umpires, same as referees in football, we all have our own tolerance levels. Um, because a lot of it is subjective. That's the thing with these sports. Decisions are subjective. Oh. Push. Wow. Okay, um, but yes, uh, there's too many umpires and therefore there's too much subjectivity and too many tolerance levels. So where's the push there? 
Okay, I don't... There was no... Oh, that's not enough of a... No. That was ridiculous. Honestly, the umpires are atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Crazy. It wasn't... Oh, come on. He literally... Ugh. Stroked his arm. He stroked his arm. That's the most contact that you're getting from that. But it does make it 61 to Port. 52 to Melbourne Demons. Still very close. Yeah, exactly. New Falconer. They... So at least there's some consistency there, right? You don't know what you're going to get. Hardly. Adley playing on. Nice. Nice. This are, are they pushing away now? Are they giving themselves a bit of a lead for the final quarter? Marshall on his hundredth game. How's he going to do? He's just, just on the 50 when he kicks it. Ooh, bang. Whoa, what a kick. Straight down the middle. Nice. Nice. 67-52. They've taken a 15-point lead. This is good. This is good. Gives them a little bit for the... Um, Yes, Kev. Yes, Kev. Uh, this gives them a little bit of leeway now in the final court if they can keep this. Bear in mind, Kev, I did finish top last season in the in the NRL. Uh, Harvey, I watched the last quarter as I was driving about feeding cats this morning. Uh, it, was a, it was a decent finish, wasn't it? Viney rolled the shoulders, shrugged the tackle, socket off the ground by Mead to 50. That's quite impressive. 18 goals, 16 different goal scorers. That's quite crazy, really. It just shows how many people are in the attacking positions to have the ability to score, doesn't it? Oh, behind. Would have been a good goal, but it wasn't. So that was a pointless statement. A pointless statement. Dees need to get their asses into gear here, don't they? They really do. Hey, Harvey, I was not devastated you lost because I tipped Bombers to win. They're going backwards, which is fine. Yeah, they're playing some fairly nice short passes here. It's pretty good. Oh, that that Collingwood fan with the hat on and the fluffy beard looks disgusting. There's two of them. They both look absolutely grim. I know they're Port fans, sorry, ignore me. Um, but they are grim. Ooh, bang! 
Goal! They're not letting them out of their sights. They are not letting them out of their sights. Good goal for the Ds. Yeah, ignore me. Put a few of the Port fans back in their place. Did it with a smile, Ben Brown. Hmm. I don't know, Stinky Pink. This could go either way, couldn't it? Back to within 10 points. What a kick. Fast to have that sort of power and still be able to generate that sort of accuracy from that range. This stage of the game, it's huge. To be to be fair, uh, Harvey, that the this the Saints versus Bombers game, it could have gone either way. That's why I did a close one. It really could have gone either way, couldn't it? He didn't draw three or four players in. You literally just saw the replay. He drew two players in. Goal for the D's, marching back to ten points. Final minute of the third. Ten in it. Early season top. It's going to be a cracking last quarter, isn't it? I think we tuned in for a fairly decent one. 68-58. It's definitely not breaking the the hundred mark, I doubt. But it's been a fairly decent game. Lots of pressure. I will do my best, Harvey. I will do my best. It is very early, though. But I will do my best. I will be exhausted, though. Anything to watch my swans. All up. Holding Melbourne. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eight seconds left. It's going to be after the siren, I expect. Well, he must... To be fair, if he's given... If he's given... If he's given a shirt pull, he must have seen something. Oh. The, they've shown the replay. No, he gave... Side, he gave it for a shirt pull. Because he, he, he symboled. He went like this, shirt pull. But there was no shirt pull. How did he see? Surely if you're given a shirt pull, you've got to see a shirt being pulled. Uh, Gorn with the kick. He's some distance away on the 50. Oh. Oh, Gorny. Gorny, Gorny, Gorny. What a goal. Straight down the middle. And the third quarter ends 68-64. What a goal by Gorn. Unbelievable, Jeff. And he knows it. He knows it. Right. Two secs. I need to blow my nose. Ugh. Oh, what a game so far. Absolutely crazy game so far. Neither team has been able to push away, have they? It's been very, very good. Uh, lots of pressure. That's nice to see. Uh, thank you so much, though, everyone, for being here. Uh, please, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe. That would be very kind of you. It's a good game so far, FL Legend, isn't it? It's it's, it's going to be a great, great finish to the final quarter. But, yes, uh, it definitely... I'm not blonde. I'm 
grey. It's grey. It does look a bit blonde here, actually, but no, it is grey. I promise you. Um, yeah, that, that he, he definitely sing, signalled for a shirt pull, uh, but it wasn't. But yes, Port R in the lead, but this is going to be some... Hi, RDM. Uh, this is going to be some really good last quarter, I have no doubt. It's going to be so bloody close. Yeah. I thought I'd mix in with the oldies at, at, at bowls. Just for a laugh. Uh, what I would say as well, uh, today's vlog came out earlier on. So please do, after this live stream, go check out the vlog. I did a tour of the Narodowe Stadion uh, in Warsaw, Poland, which is basically their national stadium. So make sure you check it out and compare it to my other vlogs, as in my other stadium tour vlogs of the Oval. Uh, no, not the Oval, because I didn't actually film that. Of the MCG of the why well, can't I think the Optus and also Croke Park and though the Croke Park was a bit of a weird tour because we weren't allowed to film but yeah do check out the vlog afterwards that'll be awesome if you do what you waiting what you waiting what you waiting for tick tock tick tock tick tock Come on, I want this last quarter to come. I am excited. These are weird adverts. I think there's a marijuana advert on. No? Cure a leaf. Whatever that is. <sighs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, why does a bloke dye his hair? I just thought it'd be fun. I dyed it during COVID, to be fair. When COVID was in, I dyed it. And it was bleach blonde. And it looked alright. And I just thought... I just thought, um, yeah, screw it. Why not? Bit of indifferent, isn't it? Dude. Yeah, because I can. Because my wife works as manager in Boots and can get bleach cheap. There you go. Maybe you should try it. Right. Final quarter. Last 20 minutes coming. Sounds back on. They've been super effective, but then you just get a moment from like Ben Brownlow. Absolutely. You've got to take your big moments in games like this. All of Melbourne's three goals in that quarter came from outside 50, so they've absolutely taken duh, their moments. Duh, duh, duh. Boots the chemist. Yes. <clears throat> from Ben Brown and then Max Gorn. The D's back in touch once again. And look at the work. There's been very little between them all night. To be fair, the D's haven't spent much time in the lead. They have spent a little bit of time, but they haven't been in the lead very much. But it means nothing because it's the final quarter. Poor are four points ahead. Off we go. Right, this is going to hot up. This is going to be a good one. Bang. Whoa. That's a foul. That's a foul. He's literally just tugged him back. It wasn't a shirt pull, though. He just dragged him to the ground. Is it that's that's the competition, is it, Sidey? It's between your wife who gets more grey first. Yeah, I said it. It only matters at the end of the game, doesn't it? Who finishes with more points when that final siren goes? 
on a plus side, kicking has been mostly pretty good today. Uh, 20 goals. 20 goals and 12 behind. So it's a plus. Their shooting hasn't been that bad. I've certainly seen other games where that's high. That's high. Suggesting a little short one down the line is the next option, and these two get ready to resume their battle. Max Gorn had his legs taken out, nothing doing free kick wise. Butters came charging through. Zirk Who's Max got the speed? Down. Who's got the speed? Houston working the hands to Aaliyah. They've got to be clever here. Zerk Thatcher spinning as he took the handball received. Let's get down to Aaron Phillips. Yeah, guys, just keep an eye on Radagalia. He's a bit proppy after that last kick. He kicked out of, out of bounds on the fall. So <laughs> well, I, you've, uh, you, uh, the thing is, I look at it quite analytically anyway. But you've got to... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Can he do it again? Yes, he does. D's are in the lead. D's, I've taken the lead. Um, I said, I'm quite analytical anyway. Being a referee and a coach and all that. So, I try and look at it. You've got to look at the, the good and bad parts of the game, right? You can say, for example, bad parts of the game has been the marking, right? And catching the ball in general hasn't been great. It's got slightly better. But then you can swing that by saying, well, actually, the pressure that both teams put on each other is has been high and therefore it's been a high energy game which is a plus which has been good so yeah again he continues to find a way alex neil pull and bobs up an important goal and he loves it big news there with radical i'm not a power fan i'm not a powers fan i promise you i am a swans fan No, what I was saying, I said marking and catching, Cal. It's not always marking, is it? It's only marking when the ball has kicked you over 15 metres. Or is it 10 metres? 15 metres. Catching the ball is if someone just gives you the ball, right? So there's a mixture. There you go. Get off your high horse. You say Port Adelaide Blue Dog are the, one of the most hated teams in, in South Australia, but professional teams, there are only two teams in South Australia, so is it a contest? I'm not sure. Stoppage periods. We've had a few of these tonight, four, five, six in a row. <laughs> the pressure's on Port because it's at Melbourne's forward 50. Neither Ruckman gets a hand to it. He's Pickett. Good smother from Houston into a dangerous position in the middle of the ground. Rivers gets there first. Snaps the kick. It was touched. Pickett Bang. Two metres. Scrubs the kick on the bounce. Lovely gather from ground. See? There he caught the ball. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. Keep playing, umpires. Keep playing. It's scrappy. It's very, very scrappy. He's going for the kick. Oh, D's have taken the lead. Ooh. A mad scramble inside 50. Sparrow's kicked his second. Well, D's are now eight points ahead. I don't know what I don't know what the Port fans are booing for here. Or jeering for, should I say. They're not happy, but I I'm not sure nothing really happened. Like literally nothing's happened. It's it's scrappy. The umpires should certainly be closer than they are because they're quite far away. It's quite poor from the umpires in general, but yeah. Inside their 50, so 
goals for only the second time in his career. Great time to do it. And Royan and Finlayson. Really important set of bounce. Clearance coming up. And Royan's going to win it for Melbourne. Chandler. D's are finding it now, aren't they? they oh, D's are finding it. Oh. Oh. Four goals have gone Melbourne's way. Let's have a look at the Radagalia injury. Oh. How the hell did Radagalia injure himself there? Don't worry. Get a Red Bull inside you. That'll help. I hate Red Bull. Red Bull's disgusting. Even this is disgusting. All about Munster. Nine points ahead now, uh, Dezar. Rosie ran over the top of it. Brown will try to keep it alive. Maybe not. Yeah, you're right, Jason. It's very much been whoever is owning the field position and the ability of the art of them. Still 16 minutes. Still time. I need Port to win just for my score, okay? For my predictions. I need to go up the table. I need to go up the table, okay? So I need Port to win. That's all it's about, all right? It's been an interesting game. I think the good thing for Dees is they've never been out of it. You know, they started they started the first quarter really slow, came back into it. You know, they they've never been able to Port have never been able to push away that far, which is which is testament to the Dees. It really really is how they're able to stay in the game. Play on. That's poor, poor kick. Poor kick. You're kicking it to no one. We're giving that as a mark. Shorter passing. Gotta go shorter. Gotta go shorter. He doesn't know what to do. Port have the ball going long down into the wing. They've got it. Port making the mark. Oh! Dixon again. He's playing well. He is playing well, Dixon. That was a decent, decent mark there as well to, to spring in front of the D's player. Not bad at all. Can Dixon score? Dealt with a lot of injury challenges last year. So it's just under the 50. No. Could have done with that. Could have done with that. Eight points in it again. Yeah, Dark Souls accuracy could be a little bit better. It was a some distance away there, to be fair. So we can give him that as a in his favour, but yeah. Thirteen and a half minutes to go. Don't no. Ooh. Oh no! Bounced off his chest. D's have got the ball going big into the fifty. Oh, I think that's a goal. They may check it, but I think that's a goal. They didn't touch it, did they? He looks young. Awful hairstyle and looks very young.
They need to port, need to pull their asses up, up, get their asses into gear now, don't they? Port need to find something. To be fair, yeah, Ollie, Ollie got a soul scar. Did look young. He still looks young, to be fair, for his age. Dodgy kick, Gorn. That was not, yeah, play on. Let's get back down to Aaron. Yeah, Taj Woden does come onto the ground now. He's uh, come on for Jack Billings. Uh, getting amongst the I don't know. There's still time. 13 minutes still to go, Carol. Plenty of time here. If that momentum can shift slightly. Hi, Skull and Crossbones. Hello, mate. Yeah, it only takes a little bit of momentum to shift. They probably, yeah, you probably, they probably want to kick the next goal. Big ball. Oh. oh. I thought Dixon had made that mark again. Post. Post. Rioli with a kick from out of nowhere. Hits the post. 13 points in it. Two goals that are behind for the draw. Yeah, 12 points. You're right, Dark Soul. That way, I think they should make that. Hit the post and you get extra points. You've got that bit of quality. Quality scoring. There's been a few hit in the post today as well, haven't there? Uh, AFL's my number one sport, mate. Number, number uno. Number yeden. Number one. Porter's still in this. Oh, Rioli. Oh. We're giving it as a goal? He is. He is. 76-83. This is exciting. Oh. I tell you what. This is like having sex while camping. You guys work out. It's like having sex while camping. This game. <laughs> and following the trend of the game, again we see just a scrappy follow-up win from Soldo. Sends it in. Creates something out of nothing. Nice, nice, nice. You sense Port had been able to send it in there, lock it in there, get repeat opportunities and looks at it. And they can create a score. How massive the centre bounce clearances. One goal and one behind in it. Surprised didn't get those a high. No. Fucking intense. <laughs> Got one over the intense. It's, it's now fucking intense. Just charged at it. Ollie Wines and Sparrow, Neil Bullen. It's still a footy to be won. They edge it slightly forward to centre. Port Adelaide, but that's what's behind the footy at either end. Gorn and Soldo bounced off the head of Jack Viney. Brilliant hands, Rosie and Butters. Captain device, captain. He ran into a brick wall, managed to get it out to Bergman. Long to the goal. Ooh. Finlayson. <laughs> um, didn't Cal just say they look. Um, yeah, Cal definitely said they look gassed. Looked gassed. Are they going to score this one? Come on, Finlayson. Oh. Poor kick. But they are only one goal behind now. That is a plus side for them. They are only one goal behind now. Almost halfway through the final term. McPhee 
Long and flat and hard towards Gorn. Soldo gets rid of him. At the back, it's tidied up by Butters. Flips a handball inside to Houston. Oh, this is tight. This is a Wines tight finish. Effective handball. Butters through his hands. Zerk Thatcher throws it on the boot. Awkward one for Salem. Dixon. McEntee. Can he get away? He can't. Ball. McDonald grabbed him and hung on for dear life. Oh. And then a sling. Oh, that was naughty. That was naughty. But the first... Uh, it's going to be reversed. He's reversing it. How can you reverse it? Surely you just get punished afterwards. Incorrect disposal. Interesting. Yeah, it was a nasty tackle to be fair. Can he make it even? He can. 83-83. 10 minutes still. There's still 10 minutes left, though. That's the crazy thing. There is still 10 minutes left. They could. One team could get over 100. I don't think they would. This is, this is exciting. This is exciting. Oh, that was, that was, the tackle was good, but it wiped him out. That is dangerous. That is dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Oh. I don't think this is going to be a draw. I don't think it's going to be a draw. I think someone will win it. Gets it to center half forward. Brown's going to have a launch at it. In front, the mark dropped by Sparrow. Tracker. No. No. What are we giving? Ball up, surely. Players asking the question. Did he have a prior opportunity? And the benefit of the doubt goes the way of Neil Bullen on that occasion. Back through the corridor. Desperate. This is anyone's, isn't it? This really is anyone's. Rivers under pressure. Can they get a mark here? Out the back. Petty's forward. I think. Do you know what I think? When they're clearing the ball, they're better keeping it low. When they clear the ball, if they keep it low to the floor and it actually bounces, they're not just giving the team a marker, are they? It is fun to watch as a neutral because I am a neutral. Petrarca! No. Nothing. Not even a behind there, I don't think. What the hell is a Monaro? What's a Monaro? I have to Google what a Monaro is now. What is a Monaro? Is it a car? A Vauxhall Monaro? Who the hell wants a Monaro then? If it's a Vauxhall. Oh, watch his head. It's a Vauxhall Monaro. Bloody Vauxhall. This is this is crazy. This game so far, you just don't know which way it's going to go, do you? That's the thing. Dick, oh, almost for Dixon. All right. Well, the first thing that comes up when I type Monaro is a Vauxhall Monaro. Good by Max. Yeah. Plus, I like electric cars, so. The BYD seal looks quite nice. Petrarca going big. Is this going to be a lead again for Demons? 
spoil, Aaron spoil, allow the D's, the lengthening forwards. As you see here, Petty draws up the defender, Fritch out the back, as well as Brown out the back. Oliver's been big in the last few minutes as well. Center clearances, getting back in defense, helping out. He's got to score this. Surely he's got to score this. They've got the bullseye target there for him. Do you want to run any further, buddy? In. 83, 89, seven minutes to go. Don't mention that guy's name. Scumbag. He didn't deserve all the subscribers he's got. One goal in it. One goal in it. Oh, it's, I don't know. I don't know which way it's going. I don't think I'm going to get my 20 point lead that I did. One thing we can take away from tonight, both these teams are legit. It has been a good game. Uh, what we were talking about earlier, we were talking about earlier if, if you know Port have played two poor teams in Tigers and West Coast and this is a real test for them, but they are showing they can compete. Yeah, thanks Sidey. Um they're showing they can compete, which is good because this is what we were, you know, we were talking about at the start. Their tests so far this season have only been real awful teams, but they are doing a good job. Can they hold on here though? Can they get the win? It's still anyone's game. Oh, he just ran into him. He just ran into him. Good man, good good man, you Falconer. Uh, new Falconer, I saw you um you recommended for that guy to do the video on uh what is it what what was it? Hang on. Which I if well, hopefully you won't mind, but uh on what's the stadium? Waverley Park. I did see see you did that. I was waiting a little bit before I did it. Yeah. Uh, so I was waiting for a little bit before I look at the video. So I haven't seen it yet, but it's in my watch list. Looks like it might be quite interesting. Come on, Port. I want the goal just for a real tight finish. Plus, I want my points. Interesting that Radaglia is back on. I thought that injury may have been worse than it was. Uh, if you want, Sidy, what video links? I don't even know what video links you're on about. What a game to come into his sub. Heads in the Petrarca direction, getting across Radigalia. He seems to be having trouble with his lower legs. Asava. Well, if you're going on a long journey, there's no reason why you can't charge to 100. Oh, there's no reason why you can't go to 100. 100 if you're doing long journeys. If you like, if you like, as as you're a channel member. Four minutes, 47 seconds left. Six points in it. The ball is up. It is in Melbourne's 50. I just need to get a snap at it. Port just need to get a snap at it. Oh. Oh, no. He just wiped his own player out. Oh man, he's down. That looks looked a bit painful. But he's, yeah, he's still down. Knees straight into his face. Oh man. 
Yes, but it doesn't mean you can't. It's only you don't charge to 100 if you're not using it. It won't affect it enough. I'm not getting into this anyway. That looked quite painful. Straight. Oh, I didn't even see him coming. Did not see him coming. Oh. Ivan. Ivan. Not Ivan. Ball up. Come on. Come on, Port. A lot of players cramping out there. Oliver's been enormous in this last quarter. Been a warm day here in Adelaide, Dars. It's, it's just... Uh, cow, honestly, mate. Ken Hinkley coaching at ground level as he always does. Look at Oliver again. Spills out to Dixon. Can they manufacture a goal here? Dees can't get out of their 50 at the moment on the plus side. That was poor kick. Yeah, Dee's struggling. Now are they going to get it away? He's going to clear it, but... He's... Oh, whoa! That was fantastic. He's played it quite quickly. Dee's are playing down the line now into the middle. Oh! He needed to be a little bit taller. Three minutes, 20 seconds left. Gorn with the ball outside the Ports 50. Playing in. Cozzy Pickett's got the ball. Absolutely wiped out. Dees, if they get one more goal, that may be enough. One more goal, it may be enough. Uh, yeah, one more goal, and that's possibly enough. Uh, especially enough for at least a draw. His hair's very pristine, old Bailey Fritch. Uh, some distance, it's at an angle. That's in. That's in. Two goals behind now. Two goals behind. They really could have made the chance. Made uh, made uses of the chance just now. Mm. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough for Port now. Which is annoying because I really wanted the points. I really wanted the points. Ugh, that's annoying. Yeah, I, uh, I don't see it happening now. It did. It looked a bit like a Lego man, didn't it? Up and under from Bergman. Max Gorn puts himself in the zone. Come on, we need a goal now. Need a goal now. Had it taken away by oh. I just want it for my tipping. I just want it for my tipping. Play on. Oh. I think Melbourne are going to see him off, aren't they? A minute and 50 left. They're going to see it off. Yeah, slowing the game down. Why have they got a picture of a car? Do you think that was a tactical thing? I think that's a tactical thing. Like, this is a car. That means slow down. They can just keep ball, get right territory. There, here you go. I may be, may I? To be fair, this this is a game that really could have gone either way, couldn't it? And so it wasn't guaranteed that Dees were going to win this. You know, the way I said, 
Port were in the lead most of the game. They started the game really, really well, but these last two goals, a little bit painful. Especially that last one. Oh, post. Uh, we said, well, if it's a post, it's a post, right? Either way, it's enough. Well, we know it hit the post on the way through. What? Surely the umpire did not need a video replay for that. What? Why did he need a video replay? I'm confused. That's... Uh... It, sorry, are we? Oh, we saw that, right? They needed a goal review for it hitting the post. Exactly. He could have heard that for Christ's sake. It would have made a noise after hitting the post. Mad. Oh, there's friendly fire from the D's now. Well, the game is still going on my screen, but that is done, isn't it? Hmm. Bit annoyed. Nah, it should be a goal here. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Ugh. They're cheering, but why are they bothering to cheer? I don't think the game was. Uh, ten minutes ago, there was only one goal in it. It wasn't that over. <laughs> Sorry, why are they talking about them winning it? They're seven points behind with six seconds remaining. What is he? What is BT on about? Bloody stupid! You could let you literally could let Adelaide run towards the goal now and score, and they still won't win. No, Sidy, no. There was only one goal in it. Three, four, three, two, one. Well, there we go. There we go. That was... A seven point win for the D's. I'm annoyed. Really? Yeah, I'm annoyed. Port should have won that. Um, thank you so much for joining me. We're listening to the grand old flag. Uh, we got like 37 people in here. Where were you earlier? That's what I'm going to say. Where were you earlier? Oh, sorry. Was it not BT? Who oh, was it? I don't know who it was. Sounds similar to BT, to be fair. Um... I, at least on the plus side, like like we were saying, we were talking about, you know, Port playing two weaker teams in their first games. Can they still match up with with the top teams this season? Well, they weren't they weren't miles out of it, were they? They weren't miles out of it. They lost by seven. They they were in the lead for most of the game. So it's not looking too bad for Port. I still predict Port to make the top eight by the end of the season. Um yeah, they were fairly clinical. But there we go. There is today's stream. Um, yeah, tomorrow, if I get if I don't wake up in time, I'm really sorry. Um, we'll see. We will see. Um, it's very, very early. So I, if I'm up tomorrow, then I'm up. If I'm not, I'm not. But like I said, it will be me getting up before... Bef like half four in the morning because the clock's change. So we'll see. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Go and watch uh, our vlog at the Narodowy Stadion uh, in Poland. I went there, did a stadium tour. Go check it out. That's on Charlie and Rob. Thank you so much for watching. I am going because I now need to go to sleep because it's been a long week. Uh, another early start this morning to watch the AFL. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks so much. Uh, I'm hopefully everyone. Yeah, hopefully everyone was entertained.
something I'm really proud of. Yeah, thank you so much. I make well, if you've if you've seen it, Sidey, make sure you leave a comment on the other video. Yeah, algorithm and all that. Um, I will catch you possibly tomorrow. Bill's here. Where have Bill been? Where have Bill? Where have you been? Unbelievable. See you later, everyone. Have